Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, in Project Broadcast Bootcamp, we are actually going to talk about templates. Um, if you're here for the first time, make sure you check out the Learning Unit section in the Facebook group. We are building on each day in Bootcamp, so you want to make sure that you have gone through and watched all of the previous videos before watching this video. Morning, Michelle. Um, you can either use the learning units feature or there's a pin post at the top of this group that also lists all of the videos um, for each day of boot camp. But I want to make sure that you understand it's a building process. So make sure you start at the beginning and work your way through. Also, if you're doing the learning units, there should be a way for you to mark a learning unit as completed when you've done that learning unit. So make sure you're doing that. I'm looking at the group insights to understand how many people are completing the learning units to understand who's actually completing the learning units. And uh, today we're gonna talk about templates in Project Broadcast and how they can save your thumbs, um, which is, well, necessary. I am going to hop over, which I think I've already got. Do I already have? Yeah, I've already got the, um, the screen up of the simulator. So let's hop in and look at what templates are. So first off, in uh, Project Broadcast, you know that you can send a message. You already did that, right? You've created contacts, you've used the chat tab to send messages to people, but there are times when you wanna really send the exact same message to more than one person at different times. Um, instead of you typing that message every single time and wearing these puppies out, you can actually create a template in Project Broadcast. A template is just a way for you to create a reusable message, which can be an image, it can be a text, it can be image and text um, that you can reuse in different places in Project Broadcast. To create a template, you go to the templates area of the application. That's the small document icon that's in the top um, icon bar or um, you know, depending on if you're doing this on web, there is a way for you to manage templates. Again, what I'm doing is showing you an iPad simulator. The web experience is currently under development. Uh, it's going incredibly incredibly well actually and we're super excited about it but today we're talking about the iPad simulator this would also look the same on your phone just a bit smaller so we're going to tap on the icon for the templates and as you can see I have no templates and I'm going to go create my first template some great ideas for templates could be like an introduction um, it could be like a business card you know uh, it's not uncommon that someone texts you and you need to reply back with you know your name and how they can follow up with you or how they can contact you and maybe even you know a picture of yourself so that you can use it as a way to distribute very quickly um, a business card or it could be an informational template that's just about your business or organization if someone's you know, like hey you know I really want to know kind of what you're what you're up to, you can have a template that's just a nice small breakdown of what you do and how they can participate or how they can uh, learn more. So as an example, I'm just gonna create a temporary template. I'm just gonna call it biz card. Um, and my message may be like, you know, I don't know, hey there, I'm Jake Dempsey, the co-founder and CEO of Starter Step. We rock software, and you should join in on the fun. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here. So I've got, you know, I built some business card template. I can even say, you know, you can connect with me on Insta as at Nerdimus Prime, which is my actual Instagram account. If you're not following me, go follow me, or on Facebook. And I give them a link, you know, to my Facebook. I don't know what my Facebook link is, so you know, I would put a link here, or oh, um, oh, you know, or on Snapchat, whatever, right? So I'm building this uh, business card, however you want to build it. It's just a way for me to let people know how to connect with me, you know, who I am, um, maybe even my email address I'd put in here, uh, and I'd probably attach a headshot. Now, again, I'm on my simulator, so I don't really have a headshot, but I do have some great waterfall pictures. So we're gonna use our paperclip icon, which allows us to attach a photo to our message. I'm gonna choose from the library, and I'll pick, uh, I don't know if I can select the button there. 
and I'm going to select an awesome waterfall because that's, that's my headshot because I don't have one on the simulator. So hey there, I'm Jake Dempsey, co-founder and CEO of Starter Set. We rock software. You should join in the fun. You can connect with me on Insta as at Nerdimus Prime, um, which I don't know if it's underscore prime. I think it's underscore prime. But, or on Facebook or on Snapchat or my email address or whatever, right? It's however people want to connect with you. And I'm just going to save it. So I'm just creating this template because I want to be able to use this message in the future without having to type this every single time. Now, the great thing about templates is you can use them in a number of places, but because we're doing bootcamp and we're focusing on right now just the chat tab, uh, I'm going to hop over to the chat tab and show you how you would use a template. So let's say I'm talking to this guy, Jake Dempsey, which maybe I should just change that name so it doesn't sound like I'm Jake Dempsey talking to Jake Dempsey. Uh, but let's say I'm talking to this person and I want to send them a template that I've created. All I have to do when crafting a message is use the template icon. So at the bottom of the screen, there's a small document icon which represents the templates. And when I select that document icon, I'm presented with all of my templates. And I can name the templates whatever I want. The recipients will never see the name of the template. It's really just for you to organize your templates. Um, so you may prefix, like, you know, say you're doing some type of promotion. You may prefix them all with promotion and then the name. Or if you're doing a lot, maybe you create multiple introduction um, templates. Maybe you prefix them all with the word intro so that they're kind of grouped together. So the name is purely for you to organize them yourself. So you can search for templates based on the content that's in the template or the name of the template. I've only got one template, so it's pretty easy that I'm just gonna select my template, confirm that selection with the check mark in the top right, and once I do that, it just copies the template information into my message window, image and text, and allows me to modify it if I need to modify it before actually sending the message. So if I wanted to change the photo, for example, I could tap this photo and make it go away and select a different photo, or I could come here and add some additional text, right? Additional text uh, before sending it. The template is really a way to save you from typing so often, and you can use it everywhere in the app. So as we progress and you learn about keywords and uh, broadcast messages and campaigns, like I said before, you'll notice that anywhere you craft a message, you're gonna see the paperclip icon, which is attach a photo, the less than greater than icon, which is insert a dynamic field, which you now know how to do, the template icon, which is inserting and leveraging a template, which now you know how to do. And you'll see that on keyword replies, broadcast messages, all the campaign messages, you'll see these same icons. So the stuff you're learning now as we get into these other things, again, you're gonna already know how to use a template or insert a dynamic field or uh, insert, a, insert an image. Now templates don't have to only include or, or don't have to include text and um, uh, text and an image. Man, I can't speak today. It can just be an image or it could just be you know a, a piece of text. So another great, in my opinion, template to have if you're a small business owner is an, you know, an image, basically a logo, a logo of your business, or if you're an entrepreneur and you yourself are the brand, maybe you're in network marketing and direct sales, uh, a headshot photo is something great to put. If you're a church, maybe a template is a graphic which has your service times on the graphic so that you've always got this template that you can leverage very quickly. So it's a way for you to store uh, you know, images, messages, or images and messages without having to create them every time or find that image on your phone every time. So let's pretend I'm a church. I may create a service time, um, services time, service or service time, services time. I think it's services time. And I would just attach a graphic. Now, again, I only have waterfalls, but let's pretend you've created a beautiful graphic, which has the times that you have service each weekend, you could just save that as a template. And then when you need to send that to someone, you've got it really handy. It's just a template, you can send it really quickly. Or let's say you're a entrepreneur, like you're in direct sales or network marketing. Um, you've already got your business card template, but it would also be great just to have a template called Headshot. And that would literally just be a picture of you um, so that when you need to send a photo of yourself to a recipient, Maybe because uh, you've talked with them and you want to send them a quick photo to say, hey, just to put a name with a face, this is me, right? It's really great to have a, a template for headshot. 
So there's a ton of different ways to use templates. And I think as we move into more um, keywords and uh, broadcast messages and campaigns, templates are also very powerful because you can create templates to then use in those areas. And I like to do that so that, like let's talk about my barbecue store, for example, <clears throat> that I don't own. If I wanted to have uh, a campaign on why you know our barbecue store is the best, and I, I'm gonna go create templates for like why our brisket matters, why our smoke matters, um, why we smoke for 14 hours uh, on a brisket, I'm gonna cr probably create those as templates and then use them in my campaigns and broadcast messages so that if I ever have a need for those messages while chatting with someone, it would be very easy for me to leverage one of them without having to go find an old campaign that I built and copy and paste it from there. So I think templates are really useful as you're building content in Project Broadcast. My suggestion would be start with templates. Build your content in the template section. Use kind of a, a name at the very beginning, a prefix, um, to, to organize them. And then as you build your campaigns and broadcast messages, leverage those templates. You want them as templates so that you can easily also use them in chat. In addition, um, as we get into talking about bundles later in the bootcamp where you can share content, templates are a great way to share content as well if you have other colleagues and professionals in your industry that you wanna share uh, marketing content with. So that actually is it for templates. So we're under, we're way under 15 minutes today. Your challenge for today is create at least one template. If you can create more than one, um, do so. Uh, now is the time to really start thinking about like how you wanna leverage Project Broadcast. What kind of content do you wanna create to send to your recipients and start building that content in the template section? You know, as you begin to do that, you're gonna have the ability to leverage that, uh, that content, those templates in your chat and in all your broadcast messages in your campaign. So create at least one template. And then what I want you to do is go into the chat tab, again, because we're using the chat tab as a way to practice. I want you to send that, that template to someone using the template icon in the bottom. And once you select the template, you can see that you can modify the message, change the photo if you want, but I want you to practice by creating a template, hopefully more than one, and sending that template to someone that you've already been chatting with um, in Project Broadcast. That's really it for today. Tomorrow, because we're now starting to build content, tomorrow we are going to talk about the message insights feature, spam, and deliverability. So it'll be a lot of content tomorrow because I wanna make sure we go over spam early, talk about deliverability, and talk about how message insights can help ensure that your deliverability is as high as it possibly can be. But for today, I think we're gonna wrap up pretty early, you're gonna be well under your hour commitment. So go knock out those challenges. And uh, again, feel free if you have some awesome success in using PB, do a post and I'll approve it. Make sure it's generic because this is a safe group. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. We actually, we won't be going live tomorrow because it's Saturday. What am I thinking? We'll be going live Monday uh, and Monday will be about spam deliverability and message insights. So let me hop over, make sure there's no outstanding questions. Uh, how many templates can you have? Unlimited. So you'll learn in Project Broadcast that everything's unlimited. Tags, templates, keywords, campaigns, contacts, all unlimited. The only thing that you're limited by are the number of messages you can send each month. That's what your subscription pays for. So to start, you guys are aware that the, the entry, you know, the most affordable plan that we offer is the starter plan with 500 credits. But even with our most affordable plan, all of the other things are unlimited campaigns, contacts, keywords, templates, tags, completely unlimited. So create as many as your heart will allow you to do and your fingers. Um, how many templates can you include in a messenger chat? Karina, you, there is a way to do two. Like you could have a template called headshot and I'll just show you that. Like, let me, let me clear, um, let's see if, well, let me select all that and delete it. Yeah, let's do this. So I could use two templates technically. I could choose a headshot template which will just put the image in there. And if I had another template that had a piece of copy, a piece of text, I could select, I don't have one, but I could, and you know, it would put that template here. Now, if I have a template with image and text and another template with image and text, 
if I were to select another template, it's just going to override what I put in, you know, what I put in before. So you want to make sure, you know, the content you're creating is in a template. Currently, Project Broadcast supports a single image with a message, and maybe that's what you're trying to get at by asking your question. We do have on our to-do list to allow for multiple images in a single message. We just haven't had a chance to start building that functionality yet. Again, we're focused super heavily right now on building our web experience. Um, but once the web experience is at parity with the current mobile experience, we're going to be back hard, just hard and heavy on building some additional functionality like multiple images support. Um, still trying to understand the benefit of using PB chat for individual messages first versus regular texting. Uh, well, Karina, you got to understand when you're looking at a marketing tool, a business tool, you want a separate phone number. You really want to create um, a separate phone number so that you can do your business conversation on that phone number. It allows you much, much greater flexibility when you're doing keywords, campaigns, broadcast messages, and leveraging templates to use Project Broadcast even for chat because what you really don't want to do is start a conversation in Project Broadcast and then tell the person, oh, 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 start texting me on this other number because that's going to feel weird to the recipient. Uh, if you look at what it's costing to use Project Broadcast, if you're using Project Broadcast in a, in a business sense, if you're spending $10 a month on 500 credits, it's costing you about, not about, it is costing you two cents to send a message back um, to a recipient or to reply to a recipient. So in most cases, because I can't be absolute and say all, in most cases, uh, your $10 is easily paid for by the increase in engagement and increase potentially in sales that you would get from um, from the people that you're, you're texting with through Project Broadcast. Personally, I don't want to start a conversation with someone and then try to get them onto a different phone number just because I think that would feel weird for uh, the recipient. That's just my personal opinion. Um, when will you cover how to send mul uh, multiple messages or send a message to multiple contacts? That's when we get into talking about broadcast messages. Um, that's a little bit later. Uh, it's probably going to be next week, though. But again, you got to understand these really basic things first before you just jump into blasting people with messages. We'll get into broadcast messages next week, though. Okay, awesome. Well, I don't think we have any additional questions, so we're at 17 minutes after asking questions, so I'm going to stop. Make sure you do your challenges for the day, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.